welcome to the car guys this week we're in Scotland with the 458 Speciali Aperta we're going very very quickly and I thought this would be the perfect time to tell you exactly what it's like to drive a super special naturally aspirated Ferrari in Scotland on some of the greatest driving roads in the world and just how scary it is in this car Is there a better place to take this car? Open top, glorious noise, sublime handling. This is driving heaven. So just what is this car like to drive in anger on these sort of roads? Look at this, you see? Steering waiting up, we're on a big long sweeping bend. We're pulling 6,000 RPM then a tight left, down to a sweeping right. I've got the SVJ ahead of me. I've got the Spider ahead of me. I've got to be careful because Lamborghinis throw stones up like no other car. Even now I'm getting hit by them and they're 100 feet away. Whoa, just got hit by a stone. So we had a stone there flicked off of a Performante Spider. And I don't know if you've noticed, but if you look at the rear of a Performante Spider, you will see these sort of gun barrels pointing up off of the rear tires, which fire the stones out at about a 45 degree angle. And they pretty much get about 50 feet of travel before they hit your car. Lovely spacious roads and almost no traffic. And some of the bends just go on and on and on. You've got a decent amount of front end grip on this car when you pitch it into the bends, but you're always aware that the rear is bouncing and you've got to make sure it's settled. And also when you're on a long sweeping bend, sometimes you've got to make little adjustments because it is moving a little bit in the corner. It's not sucked to the ground like some of these downforce monsters. Gear changes are relatively quick, in, particularly in race mode, but obviously the Pista eclipses that by quite some margin. You won't believe it using this gearbox, you'll think that no human can ever change gears faster than I'm doing right now, but trust me, on the next generation of Ferraris, it is even faster. One downside of this car though, is that the down changes between particularly third to second are pretty savage. You do get quite a shove in the back. It's a bit uncouth, but it's the noise that dominates everything in this car, especially with the roof down. Even with the roof up, you can put this little bit of a window between the cockpit and the engine down so you can get the full experience. But when you don't have the roof, you can just enjoy that sonorous music. Wow, just listen to it. It sings all the way up to 9,000 RPM. Listen to that, listen to it. size exhaust pipes. As good as the 488 Pista is, you're never going to be able to get that noise. And that noise is worth a lot. Interior wise, this car is pretty much stripped out. You've got no carpets, you've got sort of bare metal everywhere. You've got bare carbon fibre on the doors, which I absolutely love. You get that in a lot of the special series Ferraris. Little grab handles here that have got a bit of Alcantara on them, just so that you're not gripping bare carbon. 
visibility all around is amazing and on this car rear visibility is particularly incredible because you can see that nart stripe bending over the back of the engine cover and it is simply superb it bends around then it flips back up for the spoiler and you've got that lovely blue nart and white stripe going through the whole car so this is pretty much the launch spec of the speciali aperta i liked it so much that that's what i went for we've got blue scuro inside gloss carbon the outside is the triple layer yellow in the central sort of tunnel area here that's all carbon fiber on this car you've got the lovely limited edition plaque to remind you that this is a special car Got this sort of column here in carbon which is taken from the LaFerrari. I've got a yellow rev counter in front of me just to match the outside of the car. You've got little nets all around for you to put your belongings in because obviously there's no glove compartment or storage boxes anywhere. Everything's open. It's got lovely big carbon paddles so you can grip them no matter where you are on the steering wheel and that's pretty important when you're cornering hard but just in this sunlight the way the sun glints off of this paintwork is, is just beautiful. I mean, this, this is one of the finest paints I think that you can buy. It does cost a lot. It's about 15,000 quid for the paint on one of these. And then probably another three, I think it's another three and a half for the stripe. So you're touching 20,000 quid for just paint on this car. There is a little bit of scuttle shape. There's no denying it. I know people don't want to admit that, but when you do take the roof off, there's a little bit of shake, a bit of shimmy going on. Oh, just the view ahead of me. There's a lake, there's mountains, it's oh, stunning. I mean, honestly, Scotland is stunning. You've always got to be respectful. When you come to the villages, you've always got to slow down and go through them at a nice, safe speed. And that way you can have a little bit more fun once you get to the outside and out into the highlands. Those Lamborghinis just sound so good. Listen to the pops. Oh. So in front of me I have a brand new, beautiful, blood red Lamborghini SVJ. Driven by supercar one leg. I mean it is beautiful. Gold wheels. Oh, I am totally in love with the SVJ. I have to say I did turn one down and I'm really, really regretting it because... That is one stunning car. It looks like, when you're following it, it looks like a 25th anniversary Countach. It's just spectacular and the noise it makes is ridiculous. We'll cut to that now. See what I mean? I've also got a Performante Spider in bright yellow. Behind me, I've got a brand new McLaren 600LT. I am struggling to shake off. And not surprising really, as that's the very latest McLaren technology versus four-year-old Ferrari technology. That's the uh, SVJ doing some donuts in the car park. You don't really see a lot of these cars on the road and that's because they've become worth at least three times as much as list price. So many of them are garage queen, but I've always said that I would drive mine and that I wouldn't really worry about the mileage as much. This one's now done five and a half thousand miles. It's going to have done six thousand miles by the end of this trip. I just think that's what you need to do with these cars. I do not like seeing them with 20 miles in a garage. It just breaks my heart. What we're doing here right now is what this car was built to do. So I hope you're watching Ferrari and appreciating that one of these special cars is actually out on the roads, being driven to within an inch of its life on some of the best roads in the UK. But I'm in a yellow Ferrari, the sun is shining, life doesn't get much better than this. Thank you to the people of Scotland for being such gracious hosts. Not only have you given us some spectacular hotels, but you also pull over to let us overtake. And only a few of you give us the finger. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed this driving experience in a 458 Speciali Aperta in Scotland on a sunny day. Please leave likes, subscribe, get in touch with the channel. Cattle Grid. 
We do read every single comment. We love to talk to you guys. There'll be another Car Guys video next week.